seeing you, Big Simple 422. We roll my intro. Simple 422 coming with y'all with another video. Make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss no videos or lies from your boy. Big Simple 422. I got a lot to talk about. Y'all see the title. This is going to be a long video. Um, I, I want to give a huge shout out to to the people that that's doing this right now you feel me giving up updates and stuff you feel me shout out to the washington content creators that's been giving up good updates and stuff well i'm gonna give you my update and how i feel about you know certain things about this update so washington nation make sure you go ahead and do what you do make sure you hit that subscribe if you like talking about washington content not only that talking about updates and stuff like that but other than that let's get into the video y'all see the title now um it's a lot to talk about is a lot to install what what we have done in this in this all season you look at you look at the the ron pain okay this this is a big big step when you think about it, I heard we got at least a 99% chance of franchise tagging them. I think that's a good thing going into this uh, season more than anything. You feel me? Get, getting him, you know, keeping him and trying to figure it out. But I'm, I'm going to give you all my details on that just a bit. And, you know, from there. But I'm going to have to get up on Shady McCoy and what he had to say going into, you know, what what Erg the enemy. You feel me? Um, I understand it, it it's 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 which half. It's like half and half with this thing when what he was talking about, you feel me? But overall, man, it, it the black thing, you feel me? I don't want to get into the racial type thing, you feel me? But overall, man, you know, you know and and everybody know. Andy Reid do uh, do a lot of good play calls. We all know that. But at the end of the day, we heard a lot of information that Eric Bieniemy was in plan to put put some of these plays together. So I don't know what Shady McCoy is talking about when it comes down to that point of view, or maybe he's you know you know he's an eagle. He he's an Eagles player. Not only that, he he loved the Eagles. He loved what he liked to do. You feel me? And and he don't like Washington. So at the end of the day, he he talks a lot of smack anyway. Sean McCoy talk a lot of smack anyway throughout the whole off season, even through the season. With he he just speak his mind, and I respect that. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody got their own opinion on anything that they say. But at the end of the day, when you talk about my team, I'm coming after you. You feel me? And especially when when the play, especially when the person that's on my team, I got to talk. You feel me? So Sean, Mc, Sean McCoy, you know, he spoke out about, you know, Eric B. Enemy and and a couple of more guys talked to him and said you got uh, that guy Tyreek Hill. He was talking about you know you need to tuck that ball. You feel me and stuff like that. And um, not only that, you had Matthews talking about him. And you know, so many players. You know, uh, even um, Jamal Charles. Those those three guys was talking about him saying what is you talking about you feel me this guy definitely helped out a lot in kansas city so at the end of the day you you can't judge what 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 this guy has done you know he he did a lot of good things in kansas city so at the end of the day that means said that he's been teaching these guys and and when he was when shady mccoy was talking about you know 
he was talk he was talking trash to to all these all these players. You feel me? Eric B. Enemy is gonna talk he's gonna speak his facts. He's gonna tell you like it is. You feel me? I would have it no other way. I need a guy I need a person like that in my life. If a person like that in my life and they talk uh, talking to me like that, I'm saying, man, can you teach me a few more things? You feel me? What what you get? Man, I don't know what he got against me, but at the end of the day, it is going to help me out at the end of the day. You seen the um footage with uh Adrian Peterson and Eric B enemy? They was both talking, talking, knocking heads. You feel me? But at the end of the day, what Adrian Peterson said, he said, he said at the end of the day, none of that matters until you know, as soon as soon as it hit hit the fan. Okay, they, okay, that's it. You feel me? They just need to be on the same page. Both of them was on the same page. How you think Adrian Peterson became a great back? And look at him. He was a great back because of Eric B. Enemy. You feel me? So at the end of the day, you look at all those players, and they they backing up Eric B. Enemy. I respect that so much. You feel me? Because he he did a lot for Kansas City. He did. And, and Andy Reid even said in, in the got dag on um con, it, it, when when they won the Super Bowl. He said, man, he jotted up some plays for us, you know, at, at certain moments when we mostly need it at the end of those drives. He said that was all Eric the enemy. So you got to listen to what, what Andy Reid is saying out there. You got to listen. You feel me? It's good to listen about certain things. You feel me? At the end of the day, you got to listen. In this world, a lot of people don't listen. You feel me? And I look at I look at I look at a lot of stuff and I see a lot of stuff. And I feel like I feel like er, I feel like on McCoy's side is it's like some of it is true, but at the end of the day he's been on that on that Chiefs team, but at the end of the day you can't you can't deny this man's resume or his talent when it comes down to, you know, coaching up coaching up players he give those players the best way possible to get to where he need to be so at the end of the day you can't you can't you can't judge what what that man say it, what that man doing man it like Eric the enemy is doing the right thing by coming here in Washington and doing what he have to do it's a lot of people that's been talking about you know Eric the enemy and su such and such you feel me but it's it's a lot to get into when it comes down to Eric the enemy, and so many people talk down on us by us getting Eric the enemy. But just let them talk. People saying we don't got talent. Come on now, LT out here saying we don't have talent. Come on, some of these players don't. Some of these players and analysts. Don't watch it. Don't watch what Washington is don't, uh, don't have out there. You feel me? They not watching. They are not watching. You feel me? They are not watching what Washington have out there. Only we know that. As Washington fans, we know we got talent. We know what we have on the field. You feel me? So at the end of the day, these people can say all they want. Washington is on the rise. We want to do our thing, and I, I really believe that. You feel me? But overall, man, let's get to this Deron Payne, you know, situation when it came down to it. You feel me? I guess we're going to franchise tag him. Um, everybody feel like, you know, one of these tweets came out saying it's going to be like 99% that he's going to get franchise tag. And I think that's a good thing when it comes down to it. Because it's it's big, it's big, and, and not only that, you have you have your guy. You feel me? Now you can keep that core together. But overall, I feel like it's it's a witch, it, a washy situation when you think about the tag. Okay, do you want that tag to be on it? Because you're giving up at least down there eighteen million. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's going to help out the situation to keep him here but overall 
we get into these franchise tags, we're going to be dealing with a lot of cap situations. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I'm looking at I'm looking at this at this deal with with uh with Deron Payne. I feel like he's going to be okay. I I think uh this 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 situation with Deron Payne, he got to uh actually actually, you know, secede more expectations now because okay, he did his job by getting 11 sacks, getting getting to the pinnacle of, you know, he made some explosive, some explosive plays, you feel me? He definitely did. He made some explosive plays, he did what he had to do, and not only that, with that Falcon tip, you know, that tip over the hand, you feel me? I gotta respect that, you feel me? So, at the end of the day, man, um, the franchise tag this guy, hope that you get a deal done by the end of the, you know, at, by the end of the, uh, the tag and stuff, all that other stuff. I don't know how those tags work, but at the end of the day, I know he's going to be tagged and he's going to be here for Washington for, uh, for at least a year. You feel me? So at the end of the day, that will be a good move for Washington. Let's hope for the best for Deron Payne and let's hope that he can do the duplicate what he did, maybe even even better. Let's see if he can duplicate the same thing and then we can see and find out that we can give him that match. You feel me? But overall, I think this is good. This is this is a good way to go. Okay. So make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe for all watching the content. Until we meet again, hail to the commanders. And I catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, you big simple four two two. We. Roll my intro. Skin, I'm in my head. Skin, I'm in my head. Skin.